So you want to have your sewer hose going downhill with no kinks in it. If it's a long one like this, that's okay. The shorter the better. But you want to try to make sure that it's going downhill all the time. Similar. So here's another example of a uh, shorter hose. Nice straight drop. Uh, raises from about 10 or 12 inches off the ground down to about 4 or 5 inches off the ground and an elbow down into the sewer. So here's another one that shows a straight shot and uh, you can use these black expandable um, support bridges to hold the hose up but you notice um, this RV has a white oh, kind of like a gutter uh, but it's an accessory that's available at an RV store uh, to support the weight of the hose. And we want that hose as straight as it can be and on an incline or a decline as it were so that when we pull the valve uh, everything comes out and uh, goes right down into the sewer. Um, I like to see a clear uh, elbow or a clear four inch extender like this one so that when you pull that handle for the black tank uh, you can see when it's empty and we'll pull it now. tank inside is uh, pretty full and you want it to be pretty full so that it has a lot of force uh, pushing all that sludge out. You can probably hear it going down, down the hose and into the sewer. Now after we're done uh, dumping the black tank uh, we're going to hook up a flush hose. Some RVs have uh, this flush um, inlet and we're going to put fresh water into this inlet here and we're going to flush that black tank out. Okay, so we've got the water on. I'm going to turn this valve on right here. And you can hear the water going inside the tank. And there's a rotating uh, head in there. And it starts putting water in and it starts flushing out that tank. Getting rid of any leftover uh, paper, toilet paper, any residue. Uh, flushing that out. Right now it's still coming out kind of greenish brown. We're going to keep it running until it's clear. Okay, you'll see how the water is clearing up. I'm going to close this black valve and we're going to let the water run for probably another 30 seconds or so. And then I'll open it back up. You don't want to leave it run for too long because it can overfill that black tank and come out the roof end. That'd be a real mess. You don't want that, that's for sure. Depending on the water inlet pressure, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't let the water run for any more than 45 seconds. I'd go uh, about 30 seconds or so, and then open it back up. It's still a little green. So we're going to do this two or three times. I'll try to get that black tank and get any sediment or leftover. Okay, I let it fill and flush three times, 30 seconds each, and you can see now that the uh, water is pretty clear uh, coming out of there. So we can go ahead and turn this fresh water supply valve off. Let the black tank finish draining. And then we close the black tank valve. Do not leave the black tank valve open while you're stationary at an RV park. And I think most people probably know the reason, but if you don't, uh, the reason is these tanks are sloped and uh, when you flush the toilet, um, the uh, toilet paper uh, and some of the stool may end up um, actually forming a dam or a, uh, a, yeah, a dam in the tank. Uh, the liquid will go down um, but uh, the toilet paper will form a dam and dry and harden. So the idea is go ahead and keep this valve closed, let the black tank fill up to its capacity, and uh, then go ahead and pull that black uh, drain valve and dump when you're all hooked up. It's also advisable if you're not staying in one place for a long time uh, to go ahead and let it fill up while you're camping and then dump it the next time you arrive at the next campground because that way the tank has uh, had some time to uh, slosh and move around and mix everything up and and loosen everything 
We do leave our gray valve open when we're camping. The gray valve is from the kitchen sink, the bathroom sink, and the shower. So that's gray water, and uh, that's just water. There's nothing in there but water and soap suds and that sort of thing. So that can go down the drain. Uh, however, if you're dry camping, uh, dry camping meaning you don't have all these hookups, you don't have the water and the sewer and the electric and so on, uh, if you're dry camping, um, you'll need to, what will happen is your gray water tank, the waste tank, will fill up before the black water will because you use the bathroom sink, you take showers, you use the kitchen sink and so on. So it's advisable um, uh, if you have to leave this valve closed because you're dry camping because you don't have a sewer hookup, it's advisable to use a, uh, uh, a wash basin in the kitchen sink. And take that kitchen wash water then and dump it into the toilet, into the black tank, put it down the toilet bowl. And uh, in the shower, you can use a one gallon pitcher uh, to run the shower water into the pitcher while you're waiting for the water to warm up instead of letting it run down the drain and filling up that gray tank. And then take the pitcher and put it down the toilet too. Again, that's because the gray tank, you're going you're gonna to fill that up and you're going to be standing in water in the, in the base of the shower uh, long before that black tank is full. So you've got plenty of capacity in the black tank. Uh, 